In this video, I'm going to discuss ways of fixing your screen tearing on computer systems that use the Intel graphics controllers. Now, if you're unsure if you have an Intel graphic controller or an AMD or an NVIDIA, there's a couple ways that you can determine it. In Ubuntu Mate, you can click on the Applications menu, go down to System Tools, scroll all the way down and click on where it says System Profiler and Benchmark. When you click that, your System Information dialog box will appear in the middle of your screen or in the last location that you left it at when you closed it. You can go through and click on a lot of different things, but since we know that the video information is on the PCI devices, you're going to go under the devices and click on PCI devices. If you look in the upper right hand corner of the dialog box, you see the VGA compatible controller. You can scroll over and see that it's the Intel Corporation second generation uh, integrated graphics controller. You can also get some more information down here on the uh, lower box as well. You can tell it's the VGA compatible controller. It's an Intel Corporation second generation uh, integrated graphics controller. You can see that the vendor is Intel and the OEM vendor, the computer, is Hewlett Packard. Another way of determining your video card, and this is the best way, it gives you more information, is to bring up your terminal. Now you, you can see here I have the terminal on my panel. If you don't have the terminal on your panel, you can go down to where it says System Tools, scroll over to click on the Mate terminal. Now once you bring up the terminal, you're going to enter a command called INXI space or the minus sign or dash G. When you do that and press the enter key or the return key on your keyboard, it will give you your graphics card information. Actually, the INXI will give you all the information about the things that are in your system. This is the a feature that allows you just to look at the graphics card by putting the dash G. It shows me the graphics. My, as you can see, my card is the Intel second generation core integrated graphics controller. My display server is the X11. My driver is Intel, and that's really what I want to know right here, that I'm using an Intel uh, graphics controller. Now, if you're using something other than an Intel controller, then this solution that I'm going to show you in this video may not work for you. Now, I, at a later date, I will post another video on fixing uh, screen tearing on an AMD. I do have another machine with an AMD driver, so if you don't see it on my webpage or on YouTube, it will eventually be posted. Now, if you don't know this, I will put this command below the video on YouTube, but on my website I will put it there as well, and below the YouTube video you'll see the link to my Learn Ubuntu Mate website. If you click the home menu, you can go down to where it says screen tearing on Intel graphics. Once it loads, as you can see I'm telling you what screen tearing is about. I have a definition and an image. As you can see screen tearing is when your video or your screen appears to have lines across them or flickering or glitches that appear while you're watching videos, while you're playing games, or maybe while you're removing a little dialog box across your screen. For example, if I bring up, uh, or actually I don't need to bring up another uh, application, if I minimize this, not minimize it, if I make it smaller, you know, if I move this around quickly, if you have experience in screen tearing, you should notice tearing on your screen when you're moving uh, dialog boxes around. All right, here's the way that I showed you how to check your information on your card. I have the command here, which is INXI-G. Now, in my example that I'm going to show you how to fix it, you can use any text editor. I'm going to be using the Nano Text Editor. If you don't have the Nano Text Editor and would like to follow along exactly what I'm going to show you in the video, then you can use the sudo apt get install nano and that will install the nano text editor where you can follow along exactly the way I'm doing on my web page and on the video. Now the point I want to start right here is actual fixing screen tearing. To fix the screen tearing you're going to have to make a directory uh, it's, a, it's in your system file so you're going to have to use the sudo command and as you can see here sudo means 
that you're running as a root user. If you don't use the sudo command, you're not going to be able to make the directory in your system files. Now, I want to show you something. I do have, if you go back to the beginning, the, this is going to be located in the Etsy folder. And once the Etsy folder loads, you scroll down to where it's the X11 folder, which is here. Now, so far, I went to the Etsy folder, the X11 folder. If I go back to my web page, you see it's the Etsy folder, the X11 folder. And then there should be a folder called Xorg Config D. And here is the Xorg Config D. Now, since I already have the file here, I'm going to delete it so that you can see how I actually create this file. Now let me open up this file for a second. And as you can see here, it's a very simple file that we've created. Uh, it just says that we have an Intel graphics card, the driver is Intel, and this is the key thing that fixes the screen tearing, or at least it does for my computer. I have an option which is called tear free, and I set the option to true, and then I save this, and then I reboot my computer. But to prove that, I'm going to delete this file. And to do that, I've got to open up as an administrator. So I'm going to back up to the Etsy folder. And I'm going to open X11 as an administrator. I'm going to put my password, or it will not let me delete the system files or system folders. Now, since I am loading this as a, or opening that folder as an administrator, I now have the ability to delete that XOR config D folder. As you can see here, I go in here, I can press the delete key, and it's now gone. I can back up since I've opened the X11 folder as administrator, I can delete anything in this folder. So you have to be very careful when you log in as an administrator. And I'm going to delete the XORG con dot config dot D folder. Now I've deleted it. It's no longer in this folder. Now I'm going to minimize this instead of closing it so that when I create it using the commands, I will come back into this folder and show you that it created the contents that I'm going to show you on my web page. If you look here, we're going to make the directory xorg config d, because as you see here, that's what I just deleted. To do that, you just simply copy this command. I right click, I choose copy. I've got my terminal open. I paste that in my terminal, and since I'm using the sudo command, when I press the enter key or return key, it will ask me for my administrator password. So it's asking me for my password. I enter my password, and I press the enter key or return key, and you don't see anything happen here, and that's why I left the folder minimized. It actually created the directory. MKDIR stands for make directory. And this is my path in the Etsy folder, the X11 folder. It's going to create the folder xorg.config.d. So if you look here, I'm back in my X11 folder, and now I've created the directory xorg.config.d. So when I click and open this folder, notice there's nothing inside of it because I deleted the file a few minutes ago. Now, if you look back on my web page, the next thing you're going to do is says use your favorite text editor to, to create a configuration file called 20-intel.conf. That's the file that will contain the information that you're going to place into it that after you reboot your computer that will allow you to have tear free or screen tearing free on your computer. It says I'm using nano in the example below. So as you see here, here's my nano text editor. Up here is how to install the nano text editor if you do not have it installed on your computer. I'm just going to copy this. And that's why I said you can install the nano, so that way it allows you to copy and paste. I come back in my terminal, and I'm going to paste this in my terminal. And I'm going to minimize that by the background so you don't see pictures that are on my web page. I'm going to press the enter key or the return key. And it opened up my nano text editor that's within the terminal. As you can see here, I've got the Nano Text Editor 2.9.3. I don't know if it's the newest out, but last time I did an update, it didn't load, download a newer one, so I'm assuming that's the newest at the moment. As you can see, I'm in the folder Etsy X11 xord.config.d, and I am, I'm creating the folder 20-intel.config file. I'm going to go back to my web page, 
and I'm going to copy everything that you see that's bolded here. Now, if you noticed, I used bullets and I tabbed over or moved over a certain amount of space when I was creating the instructions. However, I did stay against the left-hand margin when I put this. That allows you to copy and then paste it without getting the extra spaces. So if it doesn't look like this is lined up with the text, I did that on purpose. So once again, you select. Notice the blue selection goes against the left margin. There are some spaces between the identifier and the driver and the option, and that is fine. I'm going to right-click, choose Copy. I'm going to go back into my Nano Text Editor, which is in my terminal. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. That was simple. Now if you look at the bottom and I'm going to minimize my browser again so you're not looking at the content which was on my browser. If you look at the bottom it has the little tilde symbol. It looks like a TP and X. That's to exit. When you exit it will give you an option to save the file. So to exit you hold down the control key and you press the X key on your keyboard at the same time. So I'm going to press control X now when I press Control X, it says save the modified buffer. Answer no will discard the changes. I do want to save these changes. So I'm going to press the Y button on my keyboard and then it says it's going to write it to Etsy x11 xorg.config.d with the file name 20 intelconf and that is correct. So I'm going to press the Enter key or the Return key and it's Enter key on my keyboard. And when I do, it brings me back to my terminal and I no longer see my text file, my information in my file that I just created. That's why I left this particular folder minimized. I am now back into my Etsy, x11, xorg.config.d, and here is my file that I created, 20 intel.config. If I double click it, it will bring up my text editor, my default text editor. And as you can see, it's exactly what we paste inside. Selection or section device identifier is the Intel graphics. The driver is Intel. The option is tear free. And it's true. Notice I don't have a capital with the T. And I'm going to end the section. Now, it will not take effect at this particular moment. So if I were to go online, if I didn't originally have that file on my computer, I would see some screen tearing. So if immediately when you create this file, if you go to YouTube and think, oh my God, it didn't work, there's screen tearing going on, it's because you have to reboot so that this file loads up during the boot time and it should eliminate your screen tearing. Now the key word is should. Now, I did close that folder there because I'm not going to edit anymore. That was what fixed mine. You know, when I reboot my computer, it's going to just load the file I created. And if you remember, I had it there. So when I booted my computer originally, that was in the file. So I'm not going to see any screen tearing on my computer. So if I were to go do the test, which I have it below, if you look down here and scroll all the way to the bottom, I have three different tests. And I got a little disclaimer here, a warning saying the following videos contains flashing images. So if you're someone that when you see flashing images will cause you to pass out or have an epileptic uh, fit, then I'm just giving you this warning here so that you do not click these videos. But if you do click the videos, you can maximize them. And a lot of different fast motion things will fly across your screen, allowing you to look for screen tearing. I have three different ones on this web page that will allow you to test for screen tearing. But for the time's sake, I'm not going to click on them and show you that. As you remember me saying, this right here is what fixed my screen tearing. If after you reboot your computer, if you're still experiencing screen tearing, don't think, well, this solution didn't work. You just may need to go to the add one more option to your uh, config folder. And that's the config Intel config file that you created. If you scroll down, that's the file that we just created. And here's how to save it. If after you reboot your computer and you still noticed that you're having screen tearing, you can copy this again and I'm not going to add it because this doesn't help my computer. But you can go back into your terminal. You can put this in your terminal and since I did close my terminal it's going to ask me for my password. As long as you leave your terminal open uh, and don't let it time out, it will, shouldn't ask for your password again. Uh, you can go back and copy this and paste it over 
this now I'm not gonna save my work you know I'm gonna just show you how to paste it then I'm when I exit I'm not gonna save my changes uh, let me delete it first so when I save it it'll only be this All right, I'm going to delete out what I originally had. All right, if you look, there's one more option up here, and I did delete the in section, and you have to have that. All right, now, if you look, I do have one extra option. A while ago, I did have the option tear free, which I had as true. I did add an extra option, which is the Accel method, which is the UXA. You may need that option, so when you exit, you're going to hit save and that way that when you reboot your computer this next option comes into effect then you can do some tests and if you're still experiencing some screen tearing then you're going to come in here and add one last option on that particular file you go back into that sudo nano the 20 dash intel and I'm just going to copy this one instead of the all of them because a while ago you saw I experienced some trouble when I tried to delete the file because instead of a blinking cursor it has the big square cursor and it works slightly different. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to move it over so I can space it over. Now if you look, this is exactly what I have here. When I hit the control X and exit, I'll hit Y to save it and press enter and that will save all three options. When you reboot your computer, hopefully your screen tearing problem will be eliminated. If for some strange reason you're still experiencing some screen tearing, then you're going to, let me exit out of this, I'm not going to save the changes. It says, do you want to save the modified? I'm going to press in for no, and I'm out. So that way I don't have uh, the changes saved in that file. But for some reason, if you still experience some screen tearing after you did all that above then what you can do is you're going to make a change in the Etsy environment file to do that you copy the sudo nano Etsy environment and I paste it in here I'm going to backspace get rid of that space and press return and you're going to copy where it says clutter underscore paint you're going to copy all of this and you may have to take out the spaces and I may uh, after I do post this video on YouTube I may come in here and delete these spaces out so that you can copy them and paste them into this file so when you paste them it looks exactly as you see here now I did have this one here so that way when I hit exit and then you reboot this takes effect as well now before I cut off my computer I'll probably delete those I didn't need them but for someone out there you probably do so when you exit, you hit the control X. And if you're just creating it for the first time, it will do like you did above, saying, do you want to save it? You hit Y, and then you press the Enter key, and then it goes back to this screen. Now, this will not take effect until you reboot your computer. And after you've done all of that, then you should have no more screen tearing on your system. Now, if you're experiencing some, some trouble after you've done that uh, with it, locking up or lagging or something you may want to come in here and take these out individually the extra things I added just to see if the top part along with what you did at the bottom fixed your uh, problem and if you're having no problem whatsoever after you reboot your computer then you can leave it as it is and that is how to fix your screen tearing on the Intel graphics controller like I said I will be updating my web page and I will be uploading a video pretty soon on how to fix screen tearing with AMD graphics card. Hopefully this video was a help to someone and hopefully it'll fix a lot of people's screen tearing if you have a computer that has an Intel graphics controller.